You're watching Beginner's Guide to OS X, Episode 1, The Desktop. Hi, <clears throat> Hi it's I Talk Apple. I decided I'm going to start a series, like a mini-series on YouTube, like some people did. And it's going to be for um, switchers and people who are like not familiar with the Mac interface. So, okay. The reason why you see that is because I have a Bluetooth keyboard and I'm in another room right now. Okay, so, first I'm going to go over the finder. Actually, no, first I'm going to go over, um, like, what you see on your desktop. Okay, so this here is a menu bar. Windows has a menu bar, too, except on a Mac, it's a universal menu bar. So if I was to open up the internet, Safari, it doesn't add another menu bar, it just stays there. And it adds this, like it's a Safari. Okay, so, <clears throat> it's a menu bar. In Leopard, it is transparent, but you can change that. I'll get into that later, though. Um, the Apple logo. Finder, file, edit, view, go, window, help. That's what it says if you don't have any windows open. Um, on the right side of the menu bar, you have Spotlight, which is great. If you use Windows Vista, it's like Live Search, except better. Because, well, I don't know if Live Search does this, but it searches like pages that you've been on, on S Safari as well as documents, applications, um, movies, stuff like that. So, here I have a laptop, so it's a battery. Um, the time and date, you can change how it's viewed. Um, this shows, like, where you live, sound, so you can change the sound. Um, this is my airport Bluetooth because I'm using a wireless Mighty Mouse and wireless keyboard. Um, this is my well. You can you can easily take out items from the um, menu bar, but since I have dual uh, double display, like two monitors, I have this always here so it's easy to access. This is for iChat. Um, this is Time Machine. And this is because I'm using I Show You so it shows it's recording. Okay. On Windows, <coughs> there's usually a lot of programs like files and application shortcuts on the desktop. But in um, Mac OS X, we have something called a dock. The dock is where you store applications that applications that that you use often or just like applications that you just want to be there. It's an easy way to access your applications. You can also keep files in the dock by putting them um, see here there's a separator this is where you can keep files and stuff. Cause okay, in Leopard, um, these here are called stacks. If I open a stack, like this is my application stack, it has my applications in here. You can make a stack just by let's say I wanted to make a stack of this folder. Um, you just drag it in, and now I have a stack. Um, if you don't want something to be in the dock, you can just drag it out like I just did. So, here it is again. If you drag it out, there's this little, uh, poof ball thing. And, yeah. So, on your, 
on your desktop you will have something called Macintosh HD. I changed the icon but normally it's like this gray disk thing. Macintosh HD if you click it it opens a finder window and you can access your applications and library system. These are like core like these are like core services for your um, Mac. So this is how you mess around with it. And yeah. So and here I have just some folders, but you don't need to put on Windows like you don't have to put um a bunch of shortcuts to applications and it's on Macs it's better to keep your desktop clearer because it takes up memory. Um so your dock I changed the dock color. Here we have a tr this is a trash obviously. Um in Windows it's recycling bin but in Macs it's trash and it's really easy to delete applications. So if I was to go to my applications folder and pick an application that I don't want anymore, all I'd have to do is drag it to the trash. Dragging dock, um, dock shortcuts out of the dock just deletes the shortcut from the dock. It doesn't actually delete the application. And then to empty the trash, you can, okay, you can right click you can click and hold down or if you have a laptop <clears throat> you can do control click and that right clicks for you and you can also open up the trash and drag stuff out of it if you did it by mistake <coughs> um, now I'm gonna cover the finder actually you know what this is just the first episode. Tomorrow I will cover the finder for you. And if you have any questions, just comment. I know a lot of my subscribers already use Macs or know about Macs. So this is for people who have never really used a Mac before and were just thinking of switching. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Shiny White Box. Great software for Mac. A link is provided in the video description.